entering the fifth week of Lent. Yes, we're still in the season of Lent. You know, I, I know I find myself often forgetting that we're in the, the season of Lent. It, it, it's hard to concentrate on Lent right now with everything going on around us. And, you know, without having our usual practices to remind us that it's Lent with our, our public celebration of the Mass shut down, without having the Stations of the Cross. And, and I found myself the other day just wanting one piece of fried fish, right? That's, that's what Lent is all about. And so it's, it's hard for us to, to recognize that we are in that season of Lent, but indeed we are in the fifth week of Lent. I was pretty excited the other day because we started planning the, the Holy Week liturgies, the Triduum liturgy. Uh, the Vatican came out with some guidelines on what we can do. The Triduum, those three great days of the Easter celebration. And, you know, we're planning on how we can have a celebration of that using Facebook Live, using other technologies like Zoom and, you know, to really make it as great an experience as we possibly can to, to bring us all together, even if it is virtually, even if it is electronically, to bring us all together to celebrate this, this great time of our year. But we must continue our, our Lenten preparations, as hard as it is. You know, a couple of weeks ago, it seems like it's a, an eternity ago, we were, we were talking about how during the third, fourth, and fifth week of Lent, that the catechumens, those who will be baptized at the Easter Vigil, uh, celebrate the scrutinies. And we said that the scrutinies were a rite where we, where we scrutinize our life, where we scrutinize the obstacles that are in our life that keep us from fully receiving the baptismal graces, fully fulfilling the promises we made with our baptism. We said that, you know, it's not just for the catechumens, not just for those who will be baptized at the Easter Vigil, but it's for all of us to go through this three-week period of scrutinizing our life and scrutinizing our obstacles that keep us distant from God, keep us from trusting in God. That's what these three weeks have been all about. And the gospel readings that the church gives us each of these three weeks helps us to look at, at where we are in our faith life, where we are on this faith journey, and ask us to go deeper and deeper in our trust in God. You know, three weeks ago, we talked about the fact that St. Augustine said there were three levels of faith, right? And over these three weeks, we should be looking at those three levels of faith. The first level of faith was just believing that God exists. And in that third week of Lent, we, we heard the story of the woman at the well, where she there had this encounter with this strange man, Jesus Christ. And, and as she encountered him, she began to believe in him. She believed that Jesus Christ truly existed, that he, he truly was the promised Messiah, the promised Savior. Do we believe that Jesus truly exists, that, that Jesus is present here with us? In the second week of Lent, our gospel was the story of the man born blind. There he had an encounter with this Jesus Christ, and there Jesus healed him. He made him see this man born blind who had never been able to see in his life was able to see. And while he knew that this man, this Jesus, was the one who made him see, he was questioned, how, how could that be? He, and he came stronger and stronger into the faith that the only way that this could be, that this man could have worked this miracle in my life, that he is indeed truly truly Jesus Christ, and he, and he truly began to believe in Jesus Christ. He truly began to believe that Jesus Christ can do good works, that the works of God are good, that God can do the impossible. He began to believe in God. He began to believe in His Word. He began to believe in Jesus Christ. But the third level of faith is to believe in God to believe into God, to believe God with our whole heart, with our whole life, with our whole being. Today, our gospel reading 
was about Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Raising Lazarus. That's what it's all about. It's that promise of our resurrection. It's a promise that in baptism, we indeed die with Christ and rise with Christ to a new life. Do we truly believe that? Do we truly believe that we have entered into a new life, a new life that is with Jesus Christ? Do we totally trust in Jesus Christ, totally trust Jesus Christ with our life? You know, it's, it's significant that when Lazarus was raised from the dead, we were told that he appeared still bound by his burial cloth. You know, I contrast that with the gospel we'll hear in a couple of weeks when we hear about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's specific that when they, the disciples found the empty tomb, the burial cloth was left there behind. Jesus, when he resurrected, he was no longer bound by the burial cloth. But Lazarus, in being raised from the dead, was still bound by the burial cloth. You know, that is how it is in our resurrection. Yes, in our resurrection, we are still bound by the burial cloth. We are still bound by the fear of our mortal death. We are still bound by that. And here, more than ever, as we go through this epidemic, this coronavirus, we're we're afraid for ourselves. We're afraid for our loved ones. We're afraid for everyone around us. But that is where God is there to, to help us take off the binding of our burial cloth, to recognize his promise of the resurrection, to recognize that we can trust Jesus Christ with our total life, to really trust into God, to trust into Jesus Christ. Here, we must trust we must put our trust in Jesus Christ. Yes, here as we go through this coronavirus, we, we are rightfully concerned and we need to, to take the appropriate actions. We need to, to do the appropriate things to, to keep ourselves from catching this virus, to, to especially help those who are vulnerable, to help them from catching this virus. But we can't be worried. We can't be worried, right? Because we trust in Jesus. We trust in who he is. That's what this is all about. It's about trusting in Jesus, trusting in Jesus with our life. Here as we go forth, let us put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you.